I just found one of the craziest things AI can do. Have a watch and let me know what you think. Now after watching that entire trailer, I set myself on a journey to learn and present to you all how you can make your own videos through the use of AI tools. After a few joyful hours of research, I've cracked the formula on how to create our own movie trailers. There are two methods. The first method, we can use mid-journey to generate comprehensive photos to base our trailer off. Let's generate our image. You've probably seen loads of online tutorials on how to use mid-journey, so I will keep this portion relatively straightforward. Alien ship, daytime, desert, cinematic, RTX on, photo taken from a Nikon D850R916. Boom! Awesome results. I'm going to choose the fourth one. It's giving me Star Trek vibes. Just keep in mind, the better inputs you provide mid-journey, the better results you'll get from it. If you take a look at my prompt, I've tried to input as many variables as I can to get the image that I want, and it turned out great. Now that we have our image, let's head straight into Runaway ML. I'll leave the link to Runaway in the description. There's a big Try Runaway for Free button. Just click it, and it'll prompt you to log in or sign up. And once you do that, you'll gain access to their tools. Once you're in, there are loads of tools to use. However, we are interested in the text slash image to video option, so let's go ahead and click it. The UI is super simple to use and understand. Let's import the image using the import button to the left of the box. Click the drag and drop button, then find your file and click open. It'll take a second to load. Now that we have imported the image, it'll take us back to the screen. We can go ahead and click generate. As we wait, it'll queue our request. This portion is relatively quick, but it may take a few minutes during the rendering process. Let me take this time to talk about what is provided in the free plan of Runaway. With the free version, we are given 125 credits, which can be used for different types of renderings. Also with the free version, we can't upscale the resolution or remove the watermark. It also limits the duration of videos we can generate to a total of 25 seconds, all of which is pretty basic stuff for free plans. Anyways, the video is done generating, so let's have a watch. That in itself is crazy, but look what I have to show you next. It gets even crazier. Let's say I want to make it look even crazier. Let's take our exact mid-journey prompt. Alien ship, daytime, desert, cinematic, RTX on, photo taken from a Nikon D850, and paste it into the prompt box right underneath. This will hopefully improve the results, as our AI friend will have some more context for its rendering. Like last time, it'll take a few minutes to get our results. Before I show the new results, let's have a look at the last one just for comparison. And for the new results. In my opinion, I think the second variant is so much better. It gives so much scale to the alien ship, and it looks so much more cinematic with the lighting. Like my trial, I would recommend you try out both to see which one provides better results. Now that we have covered the general basis of how to use Runaway, let's switch over to Pika Labs and see how different the results will turn out. To make comparing both videos easier, I will use the same image that we used previously. I'm in Pika Labs server right now and have my own thread open to make it visually easier to see. If you don't know what Pika Labs is, go ahead and check it out on my previous video. We go over what it is, how to sign up, and how to use its settings. To give a quick TLDR, the tool is a text video generation tool where similar to Runaway it generates AI videos given prompts. If you want to know more, go check it out. Anyways, let's get to generating. I'm going to try two different prompts to show how these can differ the results. The first is slash create prompt flying spaceship motion two, then to import the image, head to the right and click the plus one more to import the image we generated earlier. Now hit enter and wait, and this is what the video looks like. I'm not quite sure what these things are, but oh well, these tools aren't perfect yet, so errors can happen. One thing for sure is that there are a lot of movements in this video. Now I want to compare this video to another one, but with a slight change to the prompt. Instead of typing motion 2, we'll leave it at just flying spaceship. Let's take a look at the video. That's interesting. You can see that the new video has a lot less motion, but it also removed the abstract items that were in the last video. It also seems to me that Runaway is a lot more smoother in their videos. I think this can come in very handy when you want still video shots. It all just comes down to what you want, and repeating the process till you get what you want. Here's a visual comparison of all the videos. Overall, I think Runaway is the better option simply because of its more realistic capabilities and smoother videos. However, both tools are still very early in development, so I'll keep a keen eye on both and post updates. To close out, in today's video, 
We talked about ways that you can create your own movie trailers, and I'm really excited to see what you guys can do with this information. The two primary ways I gave you both stemmed from generating an image using Midjourney, but then branched off into using Pika Labs or Runaway ML. Each tool has its upsides and downsides, so I would recommend trying out both to see which one you like better. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay notified when I post future AI videos. It might change your life. Thanks for watching, and leave a comment about any other AI tools you would like me to cover.